grab a tire and head this way. Bring, bring your impact. And bring your impact. Yeah, the big one. Bring the breaker bar impact and a uh, that tire that's in the yard. Make sure it's got like 20 pounds in it. All right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm right on 600 North, just past uh, the turnoff down there. Okay. Well, we lost one. Little girl come apart down through there. Look at the size of that thing. Now we got to change the thing. What a PIA that is. Well, we had a little breakdown over here in the five ton. I had a tire I thought wasn't looking too good and I thought maybe I should change that. Oh, it should be all right for one more trip across town. But I broke down in a good spot right by the golf course. So I'm watching people golf while I wait for Dustin to bring me a spare and a jack. So we'll get that baby unbolted and bolt the new one back on. Probably about time for a new set. These are about expired anyways. And uh, we'll probably jump up to the 1620s, 54 inches tall or some dang thing like that. So we'll wait around here for a few more minutes and then uh, show you what we got going on to change a tire on the old five ton to go get a forklift pulled out. So we'll uh, get this done. We'll take you along for the ride. gonna do well we're gonna try and put a tire on the five ton with our good looks with our good looks that one's cool i brought some reinforcements hey i'm on, I'm on the side there's gonna be a jack handle do you want the other camera going oh it's going it's on it's not going which jack is it this one or the other one well here's the big one. Oh yeah that's on the right one It's not going, so I'll have to start it. Yeah, that's how it goes. Big boys and their toys.
right, 60 foot trailer. We got to move it sideways about five feet. We're going to see if the old five ton will do it. We're holding that end with the forklift. We're going to go here and see what happens. All we can do is fail, but I think we'll be just fine. So this little project of pulling out a couple forklifts stuck in the sand turned into a little bit of a project. He decided while I was there he wanted me to help him get that trailer jockeyed around. He'd sold this property and needed to get it out of there so we helped him move a few blocks and he ran the forklift and it was one of those things. We got her moved around pretty good and he was able to get uh, Spencer from SG3 Towing over there to tow it out. Worked out pretty dang good. All in all, it wasn't too bad of a little job. What do you got here, Leon? In 1938 or 39, my great-grandfather, Henry Goobler, drove off up to Salt Lake City and purchased this power horse tractor. This thing was designed to bridge the gap between um, horse-drawn equipment and tractor mechanical equipment. And the idea was you could hook it up to your equipment, you could sit back there on your hay rake, your sickle bar mower, your plow, whatever it was, and you could drive this thing with driving lines, just like you drive a team of horses. Um, and so, so it's been in my family for 80 whatever years, and it's finally trickled down to me. And so for the last several months or almost a it, year, I've been working on getting this thing restored. And it looked and a little different from the last time we had the camera on it. New tires and new paint and oil and blah 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 and it's just been a big old project and i finally reached the point that i think i think i'm ready to put gas in it and try to get it to start so. all right well let's uh let's do it so it's got a glass bowl down here let that fill up there she goes it's got a little sediment in it but not bad that's why it has a settling bowl in it eh um is it in neutral? It darn well better be. Because will it, won't it run away and run over the top of you if it's not? In my opinion, it's in neutral. <clears throat> so let's discuss the safety mechanism. If you're behind it, pull out the clutch. But it, it should be in neutral. That's the clutch. And this is in neutral for those two clutches. It's got okay. th three clutches. But if you need to shut it off, you're going to push the button on the magneto. So is that if it climbs the garage? If it climbs the garage. Here we decided this is the clutch right here. This is neutral. This is, when you pull this, this is the brake. But now I just released it. Put it into gear. So. So you pulled it. That locks it into gear. That locks it into neutral. It should sit there and idle right where it is. Okay. And even if it's not, this is in neutral and this is in... Yes, so even if this is released, it shouldn't go anywhere because this is in neutral. Look, it even had a PTO, which was a new thing. So here's the kill switch. If all hell breaks loose, you hit that button right there and try not to get shocked. And hopefully it doesn't go through the garage. If it goes through <laughs> the garage, we're hoping it just tips over backwards. Like one of those Volkswagen yes. things. And I don't know that I can start it with this. I'm going to have to get my electric starter motor. Cans extra. It's gonna start. It's gonna fire right up. It's gonna fire right up. hitting something hitting this bolt right here hitting this bolt here too no it's just hitting that bolt it's missing this one well, i thought the belt i thought the belt sounded like it was howling and then it started smoking well it didn't climb the garage 
Okay, let me let me back that out. I'll grind. Just got that bolt right here. Just barely. I mean, just get your little cutoff wheel. All right, Leon shortened it up a little bit, so maybe that'll clear now. That's a loud sucker. You better get your ear protection in, though. <laughs> That's a special kind of cool right there. It is pretty cool. 
What's even cooler, you can reach up here and drive it like this yeah. if you want it even. The wheels don't you gotta pull them. one one, I think the left one, and then pull that one back and then it'll stop in the middle. Yeah, there you go. And it, and it should stay idling right there. And then when you want to go, you pull on that one, it turns them loose. Correct. But it, I think... Did you see how it finally grabs and this starts going in reverse yeah. and that starts to... Yeah. This would be cool with a set of custom tracks, homemade tracks on it. Did you see there. how... Did I show you how big the chain was in here? Yeah, it's a big old it's beefy big old sucker. <laughs> now he's going to be finding one. I just did. Don't think I'm staying on his favorite child list for just nothing. Nothing. Hi. Uh, this is what happens when you leave your truck running in a small town. People steal it and repark it. But good job for you for you know um, keeping your dog cool. Come here. Come here, puppy. See how long it takes you to find it. That'll be the real fun question, huh? Come on, puppy. Look how cute she is. Oh, yes. I'm waiting for her to reach around and bite me, though, huh? Going on a hot date? Were you worried for a minute? Nope. Not even a little bit? I had... Because only one person that knows my <laughs> dog would be able to move my truck. <laughs> That's true. She didn't even bark at me. You like Brookie, do you? 